as a flat rate technician, your day-to-day -day life is to do what? To beat that book time, to make more money. Let's go over some things to help you out. When it comes to flat rate technicians and making money, what's the easiest way to make more money is to beat that book time, right? So let's just say for instance, your shop on average sells you 60 hours worth of work a week or 40 hours or 50 hours or whatever it is, and you wanna make more money, you need to beat that time. You beat that time, it helps you sell more work in the future. What's some ways to beat the time? The biggest thing that I've noticed with technicians, and this is across the board, I've worked in many shops and I've been through many shops as a mobile technician, is organization. Every tool should have a place to go in your toolbox, in your shop, everything. If that tool does not have a place to go, it's just gonna get set down somewhere and then you're gonna be spending time later on looking for said tool, a 10 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter wrench, whatever, that pesky 10 millimeter. If that 10 millimeter always had a place to go, there's a higher likelihood that you won't lose the 10 mil. You know, I'm just using the 10 millimeter as an example. So with that being said, organization, organization, organization. That is gonna speed you up. And you might not think about it in a day-to-day -day situation because you're like, eh, I only spent 10 minutes looking for tools today. Well, let's compound that. Let's just say, for instance, you are a shop that works five days a week. That whole week of you spending 10 minutes a day looking for tools, at the end of the week, that's an additional hour. That's an additional hour of flag time that you as a technician could have been making. So whenever you start compounding it long ways, you know, as you go out, you're gonna realize that 10 minutes a day or 10 minutes per job or however long at the end of the day is gonna cost you a lot of money. So let's just say for instance, each week you spend an hour looking for tools. Throughout the whole week, you spend an hour looking for tools because they don't have a place to go. At the end of the year, that's 52 hours that you have wasted. That is an entire week's worth of salary looking for tools. So why not organize? Every tool should have a place. That's, that's the simplest thing to go. In my toolboxes, in my diagnostic cart, in my roll cart, all of it, 95% of all my stuff has a place to go. So whenever I'm done with it, I put it back. Now, there are those crazy days where, yeah, I might just be like, F today and whip the stuff back in my roll cart and that's a tomorrow job. We've all been there, we've all done that. But if the majority of the time you're putting stuff back where it needs to go, then it's gonna save you that time. Time equals money, money equals happiness. So they say, some people say you can't buy happiness, but by God, I bought a motorcycle before and that thing made me happy. So with all that said, let's kind of go over some organizational stuff that you as a technician should be looking at and doing. So that way, whenever it comes time for you to grab tools out of your toolbox, you know where they're at. Now, let's go over some organizational stuff that can help you guys out. All right, so let's go. Now, we'll just go with my basic roll cart. Everybody should have a roll cart. Having a roll cart is just gonna make your day-to-day -day life that much easier to be able to roll over the tools that you use every single day to the cart or to the car and work on it. I have my toolbox sitting over there, but you know, this is my day-to-day -day cart. Um, whenever I was working in a shop, even whenever I just recently closed my shop, you know, this was my everyday go. So like I said, every tool has a spot. I already know that these are empty. I'm just lazy and don't take them down. I keep my swivel sockets, my impact swivel sockets up here. All my screwdrivers have them. These are a lot of the specialty sockets that I would use on a daily basis. My half inch and three eighths deep impacts. I got Torx bits, uh, magnetic sockets. These are my favorite sockets. These are my uh, chrome swivels from Snap-on. Those things are amazing. You know, same with my three eighths. Then over here, I have all of my pry bars, long screwdrivers, a long pick bar. I mean, it's just, all you're doing is making yourself that much easier. Now, this drawer used to actually be full of ratchets, but then I started realizing what ratchets do I use daily? And so I put those in here, basic uh, extensions, sockets, and your sockets have a place. 
get socket rails. If you don't have socket rails, get socket rails. It will make your life easier. You wouldn't believe it, but just having socket rails makes a world of difference in your day-to-day -day life. There are many different companies out there that make different styles of socket rails. Depends on your application and how you want to use it and what you want to do. Get socket rails and organize your sockets so that way you know where this socket is. Where is my deep impact 3 8 17 mil? I know exactly that it's going to be on the far right side towards the back because it's been there for years. Even whenever I wasn't in this cart and I was in another roll cart, my drawer setup was very similar so I know that's where it's going to be. Get those organization for your sockets. Shoot, just organizing sockets is going to make a world of difference. Pliers. You don't have to have big old fancy stuff. This right here is from Harbor Freight. And these are my pliers that I use on a daily basis. Wrenches. Same thing. Just keep them organized. Keep your hammers. This drawer is kind of organized chaos, but I know that each spot has a tool to go into it because, as you can tell, I play Tetris. Now, that's just basic roll cart stuff. Diagnostic equipment's no different. You really need to start having your diagnostic equipment set up and ready to go. You might not be a diag tech, but every tech gets some sort of diag throughout the day, whether it's just checking window motors or light bulbs or anything, you still need to have your diagnostic equipment set up and ready to go. Having a diet cart, you can get diet carts pretty cheap. Uh, most of mine, all the way up until I got this one, was from Harbor Freight. I built several of them from Harbor Freight over the years. I would still have them right now. I just, over the years, I've just sold them and made new ones just as kind of a hobby for me. So I went from Harbor Freight to a snap-on cart, but you can do a Harbor Freight cart it's no different, but having that cart with all your diag equipment set up and ready to go is just going to make you want to use the diag equipment more to make you more proficient, make you a better technician, and really help yourself out. Let's kind of go over my diag cart setup. So, like with my diag cart, I usually try and always have some sort of scan tool sitting on here. Um, this one just kind of set up on one of our scan tool mounts. I usually always have at least one of our scopes set up. So right now I got my Pico scope set up on our boom. This is just to make my life easier. So that way all I gotta do is open the Pico software and it's ready to go. I don't have to fumble and set stuff up. I use my multimeter quite a bit for different checks. I'll just, I keep my multimeter just sit right here on a magnetic mount because I'm grabbing it quite often. Top drawer, organizational trays. It kind of might look like an organized chaos, but it's not. I got all my alligator clips here. I've got piercing probes, um, attenuators, more piercing probes, more piercing probes, back probes, you know, everything kind of has a spot. All my hoses for different testing for in cylinder and random stuff is all right here with the adapters right there. If you can get your roll cart or toolbox that has this grid set up in there, it really helps out with organization, as you can tell. We try and make sure that everything has a spot. I know that was just kind of a quick, just showing you through, but that's just showing you that you can set up something just to make your life and your day-to-day -day life easier. That's all this video is about. As a flat rate tech, Anything that you can do to make your day-to-day -day life easier is what you need to do. Whether it's organizing your toolbox, because that's all you have, organize it to where you can just reach in and grab stuff and you know exactly where it's at, and it's neatly put up so that way it's just a grab and go. Diag carts, do the same thing. Don't just have all of your stuff just literally thrown in the corner and you spend time digging through it and trying to figure it all out. That's what today's video is about. Let me guys know what your thoughts are on organizing. Are you a technician that just throws stuff in the corner and hopes you find it? Do you just have all your crap just thrown in boxes and you just dig through it as need be? Or are you like me where you like to try and keep your stuff organized for your day-to-day -day life? Let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you on the next one.